Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. So I have um, a little kit that was sent to me um, from uh, someone over on Instagram. Um, uh, the name of the company is Cord Buffet, which I'll show you this now. I've already opened it, mind you, <laughs> and used um, and made some of the projects um, that you can make with this. So it's a, it's like a beginner's kit for macrame. And I have never done macrame, but the very cool thing about this kit is um, it gives you everything that you need except for a brush. You do need a brush. Oops, I put this in there by mistake. So um, it does come with a um, tape measure because you do need to measure out your pieces of macrame. Um, it came with six of these. One I'm still making, and then this is the last one that I have. It also comes with keychains. Um, oops, that's one that I'm still working on. Um, it also comes with some keychains, and it also has an instruction uh, pamphlet. But the cool thing about this, they do have videos on um, that are already posted to YouTube to walk you through how to make some of the keychains. So I'll show you the ones that I've created so far. I am gonna make the other ones. I just haven't uh, gotten a chance to do that yet. So um, I will show you those first. And then I also am gonna do a, um, a flip through of the new um, Maggie Holmes paper um, that just came out. I just received mine a couple days ago and I just got around to opening it uh, round trip. So anyways, let me show you and you can make like, there's like six different ones that you can make uh, accord with the kit um, with what's provided um, to you. So let me just share with you. Oops, hang on two seconds. Uh, let me share with you the ones that I did create already. Um, so you can make this really pretty leaf style one, which is so cute. And this happens to be the color of my purse. So I'm going to be putting this on my purse because um, it's going to coordinate with the purse that I have. Um, but it's just a very simple um, little knots that you tie. Um, this one, you do comb it out so that it does create this leaf shape. You It comes with this really pretty, um, like I showed you. Um, you get six of these um, little keychains, so they're all ready to go. So the only thing you're doing is you're going to be watching the video and then, you know, putting it together. But I thought that was so pretty. And like I said, I've never done macrame before. So I'm glad that it was easy to, you know, watch the videos and um, kind of figure it out by watching the videos. Um, here's the second one that I made. Um, this one I just added a charm, uh, Bona. Uh, who is Live Love Scrap here on YouTube. Uh, she sent this to me a long time ago and I was like, oh, let me use that. That'll be really pretty. So I added on her charm, but it's the same um, one as that. It's a leaf, but I did it in a gray color, which also matches my purse. So I don't know. I think my purse is going to be really chunky, but uh, that's how it turns out. It's really cute. And you just kind of, once you assemble it, you just kind of, you know, cut it with your scissors uh, to create like a leafy shape so really fun and simple and like I said it's just like one um, little knot that is created um, so that it uh, forms this and then you just shape it into a leaf so very cute and fun uh, since I've never tried it um, here's one of the other styles that I made uh, this is like a simple keychain, I think is the name of this one. I did go ahead and add some beads on here. And of course, I use the same keychain because uh, that's the one it comes with um, for all of them. And then uh, this one is just like a wrapping technique. You do have to comb because uh, they all come in like it looks like yarn almost. So to to get this to happen or that you have to comb it out so that it will do this um but this is really cute so i'm definitely going to be hanging this on something so really cute and then here's the last one that i made um i made it with uh i just kind of reversed it and you know what i have like some yarn pieces i have like lots of little pieces of yarn on my desk and it, they pick it up um but anyways um this is the last one that i did um, and I just did the like the burgundy color as the center and then I wrapped um, this neutral color around it. So really super cute. I love how they turned out. And like I said, very easy to make. Um, and there's a YouTube video for each 
style that you can make with their kit. Um, so uh, definitely check it out. I'll leave a, um, I did find it on Amazon, so I'll leave a link to that in my description box below if anyone's interested in giving it a try. Um, they came out pretty cute. So anyways, that's my little project for Cord, again, Cord Buffet. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and share with you guys um, the paper that I got. And I like literally bought it as soon as I, I think Anna did a live and I went on there. I was like, oh my God, I want to buy it. And it was like selling out already, you guys. So I didn't get everything. So I'm going to have to go back and make a second trip to get the things that I didn't get. Um, so this is the paper pad that's called Round Trip. Let me scooch this down just a little bit. So pretty. And by the way, um, if you guys didn't know, I am destashing some Maggie Holmes paper. Just go back one video. I still do have some of the sets available. If you are interested, um, go ahead and check that video out as well. Um, so let's take a look. I I'm I just cut the tape off, so I haven't seen it repage myself. Oh, this is so oh, I love this. Little berries on there. So cute. Very fun. I always love her papers. So this one's really pretty. And then there's the swans, signature swans, rainbow. Oh, this one's so cute. Love that. And I love that there's always some black and white mix going on. Oops, I'm going too fast. And then there's the next one. Then we have some blues. And then there's airplanes strawberries oh I love those buses so cute and I always love the florals those are probably everybody's favorite so cute oh I love this color um the color theme oh look at that purple gingham Ooh, that's really pretty oops and there was some hearts I think yeah some cute hearts and then this one, this one looks like a ledger. And then you have these little black and white that you could cut out and a wood grain. Oh, I love this paper. Oh, and there's tags in the front. Oh, that's cute. That's really fun. And then that, and then that floral. Um, I was able to uh, pick up these as well. Super cute little enamel stickers. And then I was able to uh, get the postcards. I thought these were super cute. You could make some little shakers out of this. Put it inside something and make it into a shaker. These are fun. I've not seen these before. And you could actually use it as a real postcard. <laughs> super cute. I don't know the last time I've sent a postcard to anybody. Like a legit one with writing on it and stamp on it. <laughs> It's been a while. Oh, these are fun. I'm probably not going to use it for that purpose, but super cute. I thought those would be fun. And then I was able to get chipboard, and I always grab multiples of the chipboard. So I picked up uh, like three of these, especially because I couldn't get the uh, ephemera. Hopefully I can go back and get it. I'm sure I will be able to, but they're all the same. All three are the same. And then what I did do, instead of buying two pads of paper, like I always do, um, I did just go ahead and buy some single sheets, but I do love that the single sheets are double-sided. So I feel like they're a little bit thicker. It could just be in my head, but um, I just picked up a few of my favorites. Um, I picked up a couple extra sheets. Love those flowers, so cute. And then, let's see, what other ones did I get? And I love this one that has the gingham on the back. Oh, I think it's the berry paper, the gingham's on the other side. So pretty. And then I got a couple extra swan sheets. Oh, I love, oh, why would they do that? That's terrible. <laughs> Oh, well, I picked up a couple extra so I can use them differently. Oh, I, and I picked up a couple of the bicycle ones. And this one has the rainbow on the back of it. 
Oh, so, oh, that's perfect. That's so perfect. That looks good together. And then I picked up a couple of the, the buses. So I can't wait to play around with this. Again, don't forget to stop by my, um, take a look at my last channel. I have several Maggie Holmes collections um, for sale on my channel. So check those out. Some of them are still available. And thank you guys so much for stopping by to take a look at my corded buffet or my cord buffet project as well as my Maggie Holmes paper. I'll see you guys soon. Have a great weekend and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.